Hello everybody and welcome to Portola High School in Irvine, California for some more NPSL Southwest action. Tonight's matchup, Orange County FC hosting City of Angels FC. We're just about ready to get underway. I am Art Iftikari, proud to be bringing you tonight's play-by-play -play on My Cujo via George Langevin Productions. We are just ready to get things started. First, gonna go over the starting lineups. First for City of Angels FC. In goal, Daniel Mendoza. The left back is Marcial Cáceres. The right back, Makan Afzali. The two center backs, Tomas Arajo and Justin Gomillon. In the midfield, Eduardo Gonzalez. On the left, Raymond Miranda on the right. The two center midfielders, Albert Chamawa and Michael Rosario. And up top, Quinton Anson and Tristan Coras. Now for Orange County FC, there have been a few changes, but in goal, Pepe Miranda, the two center backs, Joshua Davis and Kevin Belmonte. The left back is Aaron Lombardi, the right back, Dakota Lobsiger. The two defensive midfielders, Jordan Sean and Francisco Bello of, Ar of Argentina. The three attacking midfielders on the right side, we have playing in the center attacking midfielder role, Cody Shelton playing on the right side. On the left side will be Eder Ariola, and playing on the right, Dakota Collins, and up top, another newcomer for Orange County FC, and that striker is Blake Frischneck, who, has, who actually is from Las Vegas and has played his college soccer at Utah Valley. Now we are just underway in the first minute of play. Orange County FC and City of Angels FC, these two teams met in the season opener that one was played in Woodland Hills. It wasn't the best of matches for Orange County FC, but they came away with a 2-1 victory on the road. As we know, road victories hard to come by in the NPSL Southwest, but now Orange County FC playing at home. Got to see how this will turn out. Now maybe a chance for Cody Shelton already. I was, happened to, I was thinking that the flag would have come up, but if it did not, definitely a good scoring opportunity. Now given away by Albert Chamawa, and already a little bit of shaky play from City of Angels FC. City of Angels FC coming off a 2-2 tie with Temecula FC. As for Orange County FC, also coming off a 2-2 tie, and that one was against AS Los Angeles one week ago at Championship Soccer Stadium at Orange County Great Park just down the street in Irvine. But prior to the 2-2 tie for City of Angels against Temecula, the two matches before that, they were destroyed 4-0 by, excuse me, 8-0 by FC Golden State, and the week before that, 4-0 by Riverside Chorus. Orange County FC trying to put a halt to a two-game winless skid, and they might have a chance early on, and already a penalty! Orange County FC with an excellent opportunity to take the lead in only the second minute of play. And I already pointed out some shaky play from Orange County FC. And now with the handball, this will be a penalty for Orange County early on. It looks like it's going to be Francisco Bello to take the penalty. We're in the third minute of play. Here comes the kick. He shoots and he scores. Keeper guesses wrong and Orange County FC off to a perfect start. And Francisco Bayo, you gotta like what he brings to this team, had two assists in the 2-2 tie last week against AS Los Angeles. And now in just the third minute of play, converting from the penalty spot, Orange County FC has a 1-0 lead. Could not have asked for a better start. Now the question is how will City of Angels respond? Daniel Mendoza, Guessed wrong on that penalty. And of course, how will this affect the game in general for Orange County FC as well? And it was back in 2017 when these two teams met at this very location and it was a shellacking for Orange County FC. I believe Orange County FC hit double digits in goals that day. 
Now a goal kick for Orange County FC. City of Angels bringing some pressure. Not a surprise. Off to the worst possible start. And I'm pretty sure that they'll do everything they can to get back in this one. And I'm pretty sure that might have, it looked like that was a handball in the penalty area from Tristan Coras. So Francisco Bayo, in only his second appearance for Orange County FC, gets his name on the score sheet. Definitely got to like what he brings to this squad for head coach Paul Caligiuri. Now it's Dakota Lobsiger playing it back to Joshua Davis. Now Pepe Miranda. Still Miranda. Not in the mood to do something in a hurry. He's got Kevin Belmonte. Now Frischneck looking for Aaron Lombardi. Forced out of bounds. That will be a throw in for Orange County FC. Aaron Lombardi to take the throw. Looking for Frischneck once again. Hard to miss the tall striker on the field. Switching the field. Now Dakota Collins. Feeling the pressure from the left back, Marcial Casares. Now Cody Shelton to Jordan Sean. Orange County FC on the attack once again. Nice move from Cody Shelton. Plenty of space. Crossing it in front. Trying to get control of it, I believe, was Bayo. No correction, it was Frischneck trying to get control of it. Had a little bit of trouble with his footing. And it will be a free kick for City of Angels. Go Million to Casares. Looking for Quinton Anson up top. Ball goes all the way back to Miranda. Unable to pick that one up because it would be would be it would have resulted in an indirect free kick because of the intentional back pass. Ball back in play. Now it's Chamawa. He was all over the field, covered a lot of space when the last time these two teams met in that 2-1 victory for Orange County FC at Chaminade High School. In that game for OCFC, goals were scored by Ryan Holland and Dakota Collins. Will be a throw in for City of Angels. We are in the seventh minute of play. one nothing OCFC on the goal scored by Francisco Bayo in the third minute from the penalty spot. Now the throw in off the head of Lombardi. Looks like Ader Ariola was a, was thinking it would be a throw in for OCFC, but no, it's a throw in instead for City of Angels. Now City of Angels trying to get something going, looking for space, and they're getting some space here. Now Chorus playing it across. That was a shot by Chamawa, but it was blocked. Now Quinton Anson loses that battle to Aaron Lombardi. And the left back, who hails from Rosario in Argentina, has been one of the bright spots as well for Orange County FC in this 2019 NPSL season. Now Cody Shelton getting it to Lobsiger. Now Bayo. Excellent vision. Plays it across the field to Adair Ariola. Now playing it outside to Frischnecht with the cross. Tomas Arajo. Got his foot on that one. Cleared up the field by the right back. Makan Afzali. Will be a throw in for Orange County. Jordan Sean did not have much pressure on that throw in 
from Aaron Lombardi. Lobsiger getting it to Shelton, to Sean, back to Shelton. Plenty of space at times for these OCFC midfielders. Now looking for Frischnecht, but it was Justin Gomillion, one of the center backs, who knocked it out of bounds. I think he had the chance, maybe send it to the out of bounds through the sideline for a throw in, but instead it will be a corner kick for OCFC, and Aaron Lombardi will be taking it. Once again, seems like the wind seems to be a normal part of the weather in Irvine. Might have a factor on this game. Jordan Sean, after the corner was cleared out, now Ariolo with the cross, took a deflection in front. Cody Sheldon with a shot. Another good opportunity for Orange County, but now back the other way. Could this be a good opportunity for City of Angels on the counterattack? But Raymond Miranda, his pass intercepted by Kevin Belmonte in Orange County FC to regroup now on the restart. Cody Shelton feeling some contact from behind. He thought there should have been a whistle, but now Quentin Anson gets it to Chamawa, to Miranda. Lob Sigger, the physical right back, doing a great job with his defensive skills, wins a free kick for Orange County FC. Joshua Davis, the center back, looks like he wanted to take the free kick, but instead decides to leave that duty to his keeper, Pepe Miranda from Cuba. Ball hanging for a bit. Cody Shelton with a nice header. Now an opportunity maybe for Dakota Collins on the right side with the cross, headed out, the header from Ariola. still not out yet. Ken Bayo knocking the rebound. Another close call, Orange County FC knocking on the door. I think with the way this game is going, you really could feel like it could be one of those results where Orange County FC runs up the score. And that's exactly what they would want to end this two game winless skid. Like I said earlier, they tied AS Los Angeles one week ago and the week before that a 2-1 loss on the road to FC Arizona. Dakota Collins looking for Frischneck. Now Rosario, ball finds its way to Chamawa, but taken away once again by Orange County. Jordan Sean looking for an option, and he's got Dakota Collins, the always dangerous Dakota Collins. Now to Bayo. Frischneck, a good touch. By Dakota Collins, looks like Frischek tumbled a bit. Kind of had to wonder for a moment, was there going to be another penalty? Well, I think if Orange County FC can keep on creating attacks and moves like we just saw, I think we might see maybe another penalty in this match. And that ball played towards Eder Ariola. A little high will be a throw in for City of Angels. City of Angels played in the 2017 season, but was on a hiatus for the 2018 season, and they are back this time. They started the season with three losses. Those losses were to Temecula, Orange County FC, and FC Arizona. Then a 2-1 win over AS Los Angeles, followed by a 2-0 loss at Albion. Then two wins in a row, both of them on the road, at Oxnard and at High Desert Elite. And after that, the 4-0 loss to Riverside, the 8-0 loss to FC Golden State, and the 2-2 tie with Temecula FC. So only three wins on the season for City of Angels. So three wins, six losses, and one tie. And that is the record for City of Angels this season. As for Orange County FC... 
They started the season with that 2-1 win at City of Angels, then that 6-1 win over Oxnard, the home opener at this exact location. Then a 3-1 loss to FC Arizona, followed by a 5-0 win over High Desert, a 4-0 win at Riverside Chorus, then a 2-2 tie with Temecula, and the 1-0 win over Albion, a 4-1 win over FC Golden State. After that 4-1 win over FC Golden State, you had, you had to start think, I'm pretty sure the OCFC players were thinking that that was the win that was going to propel them to a longer win streak. But instead after that, the 2-1 loss to FC Arizona, then the 2-2 tie to AS Los Angeles. And this is how OCFC stands in the NPSL Southwest. We are in the 15th minute of play. Orange County FC with a 1-0 lead on a windy night here in Irvine at Portola High School. Francisco Bale surrounded by a couple of City of Angels players. Not surprising considering his experience in his native nation of Argentina has played with Argentinos Juniors and San Lorenzo. Aaron Lombardi getting it to Bayo. The two Argentinian players really connecting well so far. Now sent up the field by Coras. And he's got Raymond Miranda. But Dakota, but Dakota Lobsiger putting a stop to any kind of attack from City of Angels. Cleared by Miranda. And now Eder Ariola whistled for the foul on Rosario. It's Gomillon. City of Angels having a little bit of trouble getting an attack going. There have been times where they string some good passes together, but they have yet to really threaten OCFC keeper Pepe Miranda. And when you talk about the schedule, it's very easy to look at this game like it is a trap game. There have been changes in the Orange County FC starting lineup, and that comes as no surprise considering that Orange County FC will be playing on Tuesday night down the street at Championship Soccer Stadium in the first round of the 2019 Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup, a first-round matchup against FC Golden State Force of USL League One. And that match is sure to have a pretty big turnout of supporters. Now Tristan Cora is trying to get something going. Lost it momentarily, but it went straight to Albert Chamawa. Now it looks like maybe a little bit of mis miscommunication between Chamawa and Miranda. Ball goes right to Pepe Miranda and OCFC able to regroup. Bayo, a good touch from Ariola trying to get it to Frischneck. And now back the other way, Tristan Koras loses that one to Jordan Sean and plenty of speed for the talented defensive midfielder. And Gomillion able to clear it. Lobsicker getting in on the action. Got his pass to Cody Shelton. Now it looks like it was, for the moment, I thought it was going to be maybe Chamawa to be whistled for the foul, but instead it was Lobsicker whistled for the physical play and a free kick for City of Angels. Justin Gomignon getting it started. Gets it to Casares. Now plays it back to Daniel Mendoza. Intercepted, maybe an opportunity for Orange County. It's Frischneck, takes a shot just over the bar. And how fitting that would have been to see one of the, one of the newest members of OCFC to get his name on the score sheet. And that came dangerously close. And these two teams, Orange County FC and City of Angels FC, played one another on February 16th. That was the game at Chaminade, the 2-1 win for OCFC. Ryan Holland put Orange County in front in the first half. 
Then in the second half, it was Dakota Collins. We all know a 2-0 lead could be one of the most dangerous leads in soccer. But the drama came late in the match when center back Tomas Arajo cut the lead to 2-1. Orange County FC, though, able to hold on to that win. There was a little suspense, though, to finish that match. Now Chamawa trying to get something going with Raymond Miranda. Ball finds his way eventually to Dakota Collins, and Collins doing a great job, tight roping on the right sideline, has plenty of space, crosses it in front, the dummy from Frischneck. You gotta like the thinking. He probably wanted that one to be teed off by Cody Shelton. And Cody Shelton is the leading scorer on the season for OCFC. And Quentin Anson letting that one go. He knew he was in an offside position. Did not even attempt to go for the ball. Free kick for Orange County FC. We are in the 20th minute of play. It is 1-0 Orange County FC on the goal scored by Francisco Bayo in the third minute of play from the penalty spot. I'm Artis Takari bringing you tonight's play-by-play -play on Mike Cujo via George Langevin Productions. Lobsiger plays it to the other side to Lombardi. Now to Bayo. Still Bayo. It's like he was having a little bit of trouble with Coras. But it will be a throw in for Orange County FC. Lombardi gets it to Frischneck. Playing it back to Jordan Sean. And Jordan Sean not having that sense of urgency. Loses the ball. And now maybe an opportunity for City of Angels. A shot going just wide. Will be a goal kick. And Tristan Coras with a good opportunity to tie up the score. And you really got to credit Albert Chamawa for starting that move. And it all began when he was able to take the ball away from Jordan Sean. I'm pretty sure this will be one thing that head coach Paul Caligiuri will be keeping an eye on. And Jordan Sean, very good defensive midfielder for Orange County FC. He's had a man of the match performance already in this season. But on that occasion, he had the ball. He was looking for an option. But got to be prepared. You know that that defender is going to come from behind somewhere. Now maybe a chance for Cody Shelton. Does he have the angle? Looking to cross it in front. Win off of Frischneck. And another good opportunity. I mean, I would call that a very good opportunity to make it 2 nothing. Earlier, Frischneck shot from just outside the penalty area. Barely went over the bar. Now Lobsiger. Playing it to Kevin Belmonte. Not very many members of City of Angels providing any pressure. Now Jordan Sean, you could hear him grunting. That definitely is not good news. Seems like he will be able to get up. And now Eduardo Gonzalez playing on the right side. Looking for an option. And now a chance for City of Angels. A shot. And what a great defensive play from Joshua Davis to force a corner kick. Huge play. And also a good scoring opportunity for City of Angels. And that is the way they're going to do what they can to get back in this game. Taking advantage of mistakes from Orange County FC. And a great opportunity. Like we said, a great Slide tackle from the center back Joshua Davis and that attempt, that was the right back. Makan Afzali. Now the corner, not out just yet, but a good touch from Bayo to Ariola. Now plays it up top. That's Dakota Collins. Collins to Bayo. Now to first deck, able to get around his man, trying to put it around the keeper. And deflected in, and it's a goal! Orange County FC 
makes it 2 0 in the 24th minute of play. And it's Dakota Collins who finally ends his long drought. Got to be a great feeling of relief. Orange County FC with a 2 0 lead. And Dakota Collins, the last time he scored a match, was in the third game of the season in that 3 1 loss to FC Arizona. He started that season scoring the winning goal against City of Angels, then a hat trick against Oxnard in the 6-1 home opener victory, then scored from the penalty spot against FC Arizona in that 3-1 loss. And that, and believe it or not, that was the last time he scored. So look at how many games. That was seven games in a row without getting his name on the score sheet. Now he's got his sixth goal of the season. And the assist from Blake Frischnecht had a good chance to score. Did take a deflection, and Dakota Collins in the right place at the right time. He's able to play on the wing and also has plenty of experience playing as a striker, and that is exactly what he needs to do. Get yourself in the right place at the right time. Be that poacher. Get that ball in the net. Doesn't matter how nice, how beautiful it looks, just get it done. Orange County FC with a 2-0 lead. And Dakota Collins, plenty of experience at higher levels of soccer. Had a stint in the USL with Sacramento Republic. And he also had an overseas stint in the lower divisions of Croatia with NK Hashk. So great to see Dakota Collins get his name back on the score sheet. Orange County FC definitely in control, leading two to nothing. Now a corner kick. It's going to be Francisco Bayo to take it. And that one going straight to the head of Caceres. Now a shot from Areola deflected. The header going to the head of Dakota Collins, but it wasn't much trouble for Daniel Mendoza. But nonetheless, got to like the effort. From Orange County FC, they're up 2-0, and they are in no mood to sit back and play protect the lead. They are in the mood to take care of business, and they want to take plenty of confidence with them into that U.S. Open Cup matchup. Last year in the 2018 U.S. Open Cup in the first round, Orange County FC was victorious, 3-0 over Santa Ana wins of the United Premier Soccer League. And this year, all U.S. Open Cup matches can be watched on ESPN+. Plus. Now, Frischnecht giving that one away to Chamawa. Chamawa looking for a streaking Tristan Koras. Quinton Anson unable to get possession. And Michael Rosario got to light the play from the defensive midfielders. Right now, we're looking at the personnel of City of Angels. Looks like Michael Rosario appears to be the defensive midfielder. Now Tristan, Sh Jordan Sean plays it all the way to Ariola. Now back to Lombardi. Looking for Bayo. Bayo loses that one to Eduardo Gonzalez. Now Afzali plays it back to Arajo. Off the head of Lombardi to Sean. Now a quick touch. From Cody Shelton, you gotta like the thinking. He wanted to get that one to Frischneck, but goes straight to Daniel Mendoza. Off the head of Joshua Davis. And Jordan Sean trying to get his hit on the ball. And instead, Sean whistled for the foul for trying to get leverage on Albert Chamawa. And it will be a free kick for City of Angels. And Jordan Sean just cannot believe the call. Gomillon to Coras. Tristan Coras has three goals on the season for City of Angels. Mendoza being pressured a bit by Cody Shelton. Now maybe an opportunity for City of Angels. Gonzalez playing it to the right side. Gonzalez is able to get it back. 
Still Eduardo Gonzalez and Michael Rosario to Albert Chamawa. Takes a shot. Jordan Sean did get a deflection on that one. And that's why it was not very much trouble for Pepe Miranda. Miranda looking for an option but feeling the pressure from Quentin Nansen. The touch from Shelton to Sean Collins to Bayo back to Collins. Collins playing it to the outside. Now it's Frischnecht. Now Bayo to Collins trying to get it back to either Bayo or possibly to Ariola. Daniel Mendoza staying alert and doing everything he can to put a stop to any more scoring opportunities for Orange County FC and Ada Ariola whistled for the clumsy foul. A free kick for City of Angels. Played back to Arajo. Now Gomillon. Casares. And Chamawa losing it to Shelton. And Shelton trying to get it to Frischneck, but instead, Rosario able to switch the field to Eduardo Gonzalez. And now maybe an opportunity. It's Frischneck able to take it away on the turnover. Plays it to the outside to Cody Shelton. He shoots. What a save by Daniel Mendoza. Easily should have been 3-0 for Orange County FC. But right now you could pretty much say that Daniel Mendoza is keeping City of Angels in this game. Aaron Lombardi to take the corner. Aaron Lombardi, the left back, taking the corner. Goes right to Justin Gomillon. Now Bayo from the outside playing it now to Ariola, but the flag comes up and a header from Cody Shelton will not count. The flag came up before. I think you have the OCFC bench not agreeing with the call, but either way, it will not count. And the one thing about the meetings between, one thing about the encounters between these two teams is that the games played in Los Angeles have been the tougher occasions for Orange County FC. But in Irvine at this venue, Portola High School, Orange County FC has really taken care of business. Now Aaron Lombardi trying to clear it. And now a great play, Cody Shelton all alone. Chance to make up for the last one. And what a great play once again by Daniel Mendoza. Can Frischnecht find a way? Wow. What a sequence of events. That ball was cleared. And it was Frischnecht who was in an offside position. The ball was going straight to him. And you had the City of Angels center backs asking for the flag to come up. But as we know, the way is... The rules go in soccer. Blake Frischneck did not attempt to touch the ball. And as the ball was going back towards the penalty area of City of Angels, Cody Shelton, very alert, jumped on that opportunity. And of course, no confusion there. He definitely was on side, but tried to dribble around Daniel Mendoza. And you got to give the credit to Daniel Mendoza. And he's basically saying that he's refusing to see his team fall behind by more goals. That's two opportunities for Cody Shelton to add more to add to his goal tally for this 2019 season. He leads the team with eight goals. He easily could have had his ninth. Now off the throw in from Lobsiger. Now Dakota Collins can City of Angels get something going? Miranda, still Miranda, not having much of an option on the left side when he had Dakota Lopsiger and the center back Joshua Davis coming to provide some help. And there does appear to be some action on the sidelines for Orange County FC. Will there be a substitution already in the first half? 
from head coach Paul Caligiuri. Here comes a throw in from Tristan Coras. Headed out by Belmonte. Goes straight to Rosario. Now oh, a great play, great recovery by Coras. Miranda taking a shot, but it was blocked. And now Jordan Sean falls to the ground. We see our first yellow card of the game, and that one's gonna go to Michael Rosario in the 34th minute. And by seeing what's going on, on the sidelines, yes, it appears Michael Bryant will be getting ready to come in for Orange County FC. Has been a windy night like it usually is in Irvine. Temperature dropping just a little. And now a back pass. Definitely could have been trouble. Cody Shelton not able to really grab possession of it. Goes straight to Mendoza. Mendoza launching it to his left back across the field. That's Casares. now Chamawa. Chamawa trying to get it to Casares, But not much space along the left sideline. Forced out of bounds by Dakota Collins, City of Angels throw in. Quentin Nansen to Coras. Now to Eduardo Gonzalez. Still Gonzalez. Trying to get to Anson, he has an opportunity, he shoots, and he scores! City of Angels FC on the scoreboard, the lead is cut to 2-1, and it's Quinton Anson in the 36th minute of play. Exactly what City of Angels needed. Goal for City of Angels, now a 2-1 game. Goal on number 12. And that's Quinton Anson who cuts the lead to 2-1. You know, how will this affect Orange County FC? And here comes a substitution. Michael Bryant will be replacing Jordan Sean. I think this might have something to do with a possible injury. Ball is back in the play. Michael Bryant, who's just come on. Now Collins playing it back to Lobsiger. It's Collins once again. Sure, he would love to add another goal tonight. Now Michael Bryant trying to get it back to Collins. And now some space for City of Angels down the left side. Miranda getting it to, to Anson. Pepe Miranda coming out to no man's land. But the flag did come up. And it seems like this match is getting a little scary at times for Orange County FC. It's 2-1, but there is a lot of time left in this one. And if the half were to end with this score, from the standpoint of City of Angels, this would be a score they'd be happy with. And now across, Dakota Collins falling to the ground. I think he was asking for a penalty. Referee says to get up. We are in the 38th minute of play. It is 2-1 Orange County FC. Orange County FC goal scored by Francisco Veo and Dakota Collins. The goal for City of Angels scored just a couple minutes ago by Quinton Anson. And are we seeing the tide turning a little bit? In all honesty, kind of hard for me to start assuming that but Orange County FC has had plenty of chances to widen the lead Eduardo Gonzalez is going to shoot from outside he does take a shot he takes a rip goes a little high will be a goal kick for Orange County
Pepe Miranda to take the goal kick. And we're looking at the benches. Only about three players available on that City of Angels bench. Not a lot of depth tonight. But will that have a factor on this match? Chorus on the outside. Draws the foul and the contact from Collins. Now Chorus looking for Quinton Anson. So keep an eye on Quinton Anson. He's the one that has, he's the one who cut the lead in half. And he definitely has those dangerous finishing abilities. And the shot we just saw a little bit ago from Eduardo Gonzalez, you can't be surprised to see that. Like I said earlier, there was times where Pepe Miranda was not tested very much. And because of that, of course, you cannot always just assume you're going to get these perfect opportunities. Got to take those shots from outside. Now back the other way, Lombardi getting it to Frischneck to the outside. Definitely some contact. Referee says the play on. The cross in front cleared. And Cody Shelton was waiting right on the doorstep to knock that one in and how he would love to get his name on the score sheet after seeing a couple of opportunities earlier saved by Daniel Mendoza. Now Bayo to Lombardi, playing it on the outside to Ariola, but Afzali reading that one perfectly. Can Frischneck get something going? It was Aaron Lombardi who had it. And it will be a throw-in for Orange County FC deep in City of Angels territory. We're getting close to the end of the first half. We're in the 41st minute of play. I'm Art Iftikari bringing you tonight's play-by-play -play on My Cujo via George Langevin Productions. Here comes the throw-in from Shelton. And Michael Bryant with the header. And Daniel Mendoza once again. Flying high. Looks like he was almost just floating up there for a bit. Now you just talk about the big saves. And you can't help but not talk about those saves from Daniel Mendoza. Because had some of those gone in, it easily, right now you'd be looking at a two goal or maybe perhaps even a three goal lead for Orange County FC. But those huge saves from Mendoza to go with the goal from Quentin Anson, exactly how it is 2-1 Orange County FC. We are in the 42nd minute of play. Will City of Angels find another scoring opportunity with time winding down? And then on the flip side, will Orange County FC be able to extend the lead going into the half? Here comes a throw in from Tristan Coras. Coras launching it deep into the penalty area. Quinn Anson going up for the header, losing that battle to Michael Bryant. And Justin Gomillion trying to head it away. And that one looked dangerous for a moment if he was unable to get his head on that one. Could have been a scoring opportunity for Orange County. And now to the other side of the field, it's Eder Ariola. And sent out of bounds by Casares. And earlier in this match, it seemed as if City of Angels was having a little bit of trouble when it looked as if Dakota Collins was switching around from playing on the right side into the left side. And now sent in towards a penalty area, but an easy one for Mendoza. Gets it out quickly to Raymond Miranda. Still Miranda. Now Makan Afzali, still Afzali, back to Miranda. Good slide tackle by Dakota Lobsiger, getting all ball. Both teams play, picking up the intensity a bit with some physical play. Cannot be surprised though. And Tristan Coras once again to take one of these throws where he's Hoping to launch this ball. He did get a lot of velocity on that throw. Did not get the, the elevation he probably wanted. 
but went right to Michael Bryant. Went out of bounds, another throw in for Coras. And here it comes, headed out by Davis. Afzali trying to get a shot. Looks like he kind of basically swung and missed. A little bit of traffic in the penalty area, but Afzali whistled for the foul. The City of Angels bench very upset with the whistle. And from here, really hard to make that judgment if they had a case for, uh, for objecting to that call. But either way, whistle blows. We are in the 45th minute of play. Getting close to the, end of the first half. Michael Rosario whistle for the foul on Michael Bryant. It will be a free kick for OCFC. And right now, definitely would be the perfect time for Orange County FC to strike and make it a two-goal lead going into the half. The cross from Lombardi, maybe a chance in front. Frischneck got a touch on it, but it goes straight to Daniel Mendoza. Hard to say if City of Angels dodged the bullet there, but the opportunities are coming for Orange County FC. It's just a question, will they be able to extend the lead and build on the lead as well? Because right now, with the way the game is going, anything could happen. Aaron Lombardi looking for an option. Gets it to Collins. Looks like he was about to shoot, but instead tried to get to Lopsiger and instead now gives it away. But now Joshua Davis doing a great job stepping in front of Quentin Nansen. He gets it to Collins. The cross. Ariola playing it outside to Frischnick with the shot going just across the goal mouth. And there will be a throw-in for City of Angels and Orange County FC coming so close to finding that third goal. And like I said, you know, we are in stoppage time right now. But like I was saying earlier, if this half ends 2-1, City of Angels definitely will have to be pleased considering the scoring opportunities that Orange County FC has had in this match to extend the lead. Throw in for City of Angels. And that is the whistle. We have reached the end of the first half. Orange County FC with a 2-1 lead. Scoring started off with Francisco Bayo in the third minute. Then Dakota Collins in the 24th minute. Quinton Anson cut the lead in half in the 36th minute. And that's how we stand. It is 2-1 Orange County FC with a leading City of Angels FC. I'm Artif Takari bringing you tonight's play-by-play on my Cujo via George Langevin Productions. We'll see you back in 15 minutes for the second half. Hello everybody, Ardiff Takari back for the second half between Orange County FC and City of Angels FC. We are at Portola High School in Irvine, California. This is the NPSL National Premier, National Premier Soccer League Southwest matchup. Orange County FC with a 2-1 lead Goal scored by Francisco Bayo and Dakota Collins. The lone goal for City of Angels was scored by Quinton Anson in the 36th minute of play. And like I was saying earlier, when these two teams have played, the matches in the home games for City of Angels against OCFC have been some pretty tough matchups. In 2017, Orange County FC Fought hard for a 4-2 win on the road against City of Angels. But the home game that Orange County FC had against City of Angels was an 11-0 victory. And that was at, it was at this exact location. And that was back in July of 2017. Clearly a lot has changed over time for City of Angels you know, looking back at that 11 nothing win for Orange County FC at home, yeah, that was a T City of Angels team that was really in shambles. Now across in front, maybe an opportunity. Not cleared out. And it looks like it, the Orange County FC players are saying that it went over the goal line. But wow, what a sequence of events. And Daniel Mendoza coming up with another big save. The score remains 2-1. For Orange County FC. 
And already so early in the second half, Orange County FC with an excellent opportunity to extend the lead. It was looked like it, it looked like it was going to be Dakota Collins to make it 3-1. But wow. Now you just got to start wondering, you know, how many more huge saves will we see from Daniel Mendoza? But we could also ask, how many more times will City of Angels dodge a bullet tonight? The scoring opportunities have been there. I mean, there was a cross from Cody Shelton. I think right now you just have the OCFC players just wondering, how can we extend the lead? And this is one of those games where it, over time it's continues, to, it, it will continue to get frustrating because if those, if those chances are not converted, it just means that it's providing more opportunities and you're basically letting... City of Angels hang around to try and find that equalizer. Now back the other way, City of Angels looking for, looking to go on a counterattack. Ball goes out of bounds. There'll be a throw in for OCFC, and does not appear, does not appear to have been any substitutions made by either by City of Angels. But now we're looking at the personnel on the field for Orange County FC. There has been another change in Dewan Kim is on the field for Orange County FC. And by looking at the other personnel, pretty sure it's Dewan Kim who came on for Ed Air Ariola to start the second half. I think you have to assume that maybe Paul Caligiuri is making some substitutions based on the big U.S. Open Cup match that is coming up. And here's Frischneck with a lot of speed, getting it to Lombardi. And a foul committed. Lombardi tumbles. Daniel Mendoza's on the ground as well, but the referee points to the penalty spot. And Orange County FC will have its second attempt from the penalty spot of the night. And talk about a golden opportunity to extend the lead. And this right now does not look good for City of Angels. Daniel Mendoza is on the ground. And we're looking at the bench of City of Angels. You have to wonder, do they have a backup keeper available? And if not, that means someone's enough, someone from one of the outfield players will have to put on that goalie shirt. Now, for the time being, we're going to have to wait and see how this will affect Seed of Angels. But it looks like Daniel Mendoza, at least the good news now is to see that he's sitting up a bit. <laughs> but the other, the other part of it now is, did he sustain a serious injury possibly to his ankle or his knee? And this is definitely what nobody wants to see. And Mendoza is okay. And now the penalty kick for Orange County FC. It looks like it will be Blake Frischnecht. His debut with Orange County FC. Assisted the second goal that was scored by Collins. Here comes the penalty. He shoots and he scores. Orange County FC takes a 3-1 lead. The goal from Frischnecht coming in the 51st minute. And it was the foul committed on Aaron Lombardi that led to this penalty kick opportunity for Orange County FC. So Blake Frischneck, a very good debut performance, a goal and an assist. I think it's really difficult to f ask for a better performance. Now a free kick for Orange County FC. <laughs> Francisco Bale wanting to get things going quickly on the restart. And the referee telling him to back it up a bit. And ball is back in the play. It's Bale playing it back to Ryan Holland. That's another change we are seeing as well. And Ryan Holland has come on for Joshua Davis at the center back position. 
Now Michael Bryant playing it in the outside to Doan Kim. To Frischneck now to Aaron Lombardi on the left side with the cross. Good defensive play. And it will be a throw in for OCFC. Cody Shelton with the throw in. Always dangerous with these throws deep in the opponent's territory. And now an opportunity with a header from Collins. And what a save by Daniel Mendoza. He's been pulling those off all night. And Dakota Collins, he ended his goal drought earlier in the first half, and he's determined to add to his goal tally. And that will be a corner kick. Now on the opposite side of the field, Aaron Lombardi to take it. Now here comes Lombardi. Here came his corner. It looks like that one went off the hand of Cody Shelton. Will be a free kick for City of Angels. We're in the 53rd minute of play. Orange County FC with a 3-1 lead. Off the free kick going straight to Dakota Collins. Now to Dakota Lobsinger. Plenty of speed on the right side. The cross in front. Broken up, broken up momentarily, going back to Lopsiger, crossing it once again. This time it was Michael Rosario getting his, getting his foot on it. Now to Albert Chamawa. Plays it to the other side of the field. Maybe a chance for a City of Angels. Good play from Kevin Belmonte to break up that possible opportunity. But a whole lot of Orange County FC players were back to defend that one. But that doesn't always make the difference. Now, Michael Rosario, not sure if he was taking this shot from outside. Initially, it looked like that's what he wanted to do. But instead, kind of just basically passed the ball towards the goal. Wasn't any trouble for Pepe Miranda. And afterwards, the reaction from Michael Rosario definitely, definitely said it all. Gomillion clearing it down the field, looking for Quentin Anson. Now it's Orange County FC with an opportunity. Michael Bryant looking for Dakota Lobsiger. Forced out of bounds by Makan Afzali. There will be a throw in for Orange County. Aaron Lombardi teeing off from way out. Actually went off the back of Blake Frischnecht. And that was quite the laser shot from Lombardi. I think Frischnecht probably wasn't too thrilled to take that to his back. But, on, but either way, probably should be thankful that it did not hit the back of his head. Ball is back in the play, off the chest of Anson. Gets to Eduardo Rodriguez. Now it's Miranda. Miranda switching the field. He's got Chamawa. Chamawa with the volley to Tristan Coras. Great move and patience from Coras. Now he gets it to Eduardo Gonzalez. Can he turn it and shoot? Playing it now to the outside to Afzali. Still Afzali. Trying to cross it, and he draws the foul, and it's a penalty kick for City of Angels. You've got to be kidding me. That is a third penalty kick we'll see tonight. So two of them already scored by Orange County FC, and now will City of Angels cut the lead once again? And it looks like it's going to be Tristan Coras to take the kick. Going up against Pepe Miranda. Not much run up to it. He shoots. Miranda guesses wrong. And it's a goal. City of Angels FC cuts the lead once again. City of Angels, 
And just when you thought that maybe Orange County FC would be on its way to widening the lead even more, penalty kick scored by Chorus. Lead is cut, Orange County FC with a 3-2 lead and that goal coming in the 57th minute. Now how will Orange County FC respond? It's Dewan Kim to Lombardi, back to Kim. Kim does not have a lot of room, but he does manage to cross it. Looks like it did take a touch off of Michael Bryant, but goes straight to Daniel Mendoza. Ball is back in the play. It was Arajo. Now played back across the field. Kind of a dangerous pass, but now it is taken away by Bayo. Now trying to get it to Kim or possibly Michael Bryant, but given away. But now some more sloppy play actually from both teams. Cody Shelton getting it to Frischneck. Still has it, but he does draw the foul. That will be a free kick for Orange County FC in a pretty good position. And Christian, excuse me, and Francisco Bello to take the free kick. Always dangerous with set pieces. Both goals last week for Orange County FC against AS Los Angeles were assisted on set pieces by Bayo. And tonight he's already scored from the penalty spot. Now here it comes. It looks like it could be danger. Header in front. Went just wide, but there was some contact in the penalty area. A foul and a free kick for City of Angels. So even if that one had gone in, would not have counted. So the score being 3-2, five goals altogether, three of them scored from the penalty spot, two from OCFC and one from City of Angels. And you have to wonder now, will we see another goal tonight from the penalty spot? Ball's back in the play, Michael Bryant plays it to Ryan Holland. Cody Shelton looking for an option. Ball finds his way now to Dakota Collins. Still Collins playing it to the outside to Lopsiger. The cross goes right to Daniel Mendoza. We are in the 60th minute of play. It is 3-2. Orange County FC leading City of Angels. Now Arajo. Casares coming back to keep it in play. Now Quinn Anson trying to get the flick header to Chamawa. But Ryan Holland playing it back to Pepe Miranda. Off the head of Rosario. Now Coras to Afzali. And we are seeing some action on the City of Angels sideline. Only have three players available as substitutes. Now cleared to the other side of the field. Afzali tr trying to get it back to Mendoza. He did, but he did not get a very good touch on it. For a moment, you had to wonder if Dakota Collins would have been able to to snatch that ball away and possibly score a goal. Now Collins after the quick touch from Bryant. Lombardi playing it across to Dewan Kim. Kim with space, he shoots, goes just wide. You gotta like the thinking of Dewan Kim in wanting to test Daniel Mendoza from outside the penalty area. Mendoza did have that near post covered that goes just wide. Now the free kick, excuse me, off the goal kick, 
headed by Michael Bryan. Now Dawan Kim looking for Cody Shelton. Was not really able to place the ball where he wanted it to be. Now can Dawan Kim get it back? Aaron Lombardi. He does get it to Kim. Now to the outside to Frischneck. Aaron Lombardi with a cross with his left foot. Goes out of bounds. It will be a goal kick. But Dakota Collins just playing with that killer instinct tonight. Came so close to getting his head on the ball. He definitely wanted that one, that's for sure. The goal kick from Mendoza. Headed by Bryant, but straight to Michael Rosario. Casares playing, sends it deep. Chamawa had his back turned towards it. <coughs> Kevin Belmonte was able to get a touch on it. And now Dawan Kim. Dawan Kim on the ground, definitely some contact, and that will be a yellow card for Eduardo Gonzalez. And Dawan Kim was brought on for Ed Ariola. And this definitely would not be good for Orange County FC if Dawan Kim would have to be subbed off. But either way, a change may have to be made. Personnel right up might have to be rearranged. So the free kick coming up for OCFC and Eduardo Gonzalez gets himself in the book for the foul on Dewan Kim. But the good news looks like Kim is fine. He'll probably can he'll be coming back in on the next stoppage. Aaron Lombardi plays it back to Belmonte, but Quinton Anson providing plenty of pressure. Ryan Holland, no problems with it. Got it to Michael Bryan, eventually finds his way now to Dakota Collins. Still Collins, fouled from behind, and it will be a free kick for Orange County FC in a dangerous position. He did play, the, the referee did play advantage for Orange County FC for a moment, but a good call to bring that one back for the foul that was committed. Slide tackle from behind, easy call for the official. Now who will take this free kick? And from a good position, I think you have to assume it's going to be Francisco Veo. He came very close to scoring last week against AS Los Angeles. His free kick was saved, but the rebound was knocked in by Joshua Bino. We see Bayo and Shelton near the ball. But I'm going to say my money is on Francisco Bayo to take the free kick. And it's Shelton instead. Goes straight to Daniel Mendoza. So it looks like I was wrong. I think everyone was expecting it would be Bayo. Mendoza. The long clearance goes off the head of Holland. To Lombardi. To Bayo. Back to Lombardi. Now Pepe Miranda. We have played 65 minutes. It is 3-2 Orange County FC leading City of Angels FC. Off the head of Gomilion. Lobsticker. Now to Collins. Looking for a fresh neck. For a moment it kind of seemed like maybe Collins would have been able to take a shot himself. Now Lobsticker looking for Dawan Kim. Did not place it very well. Off the throw in, cleared out for, for a moment. Now Dawan Kim has it and he switches the field to Cody Shelton. The volley now to Dakota Collins. Now Michael Bryant, he's got Cody Shelton. He had him for a moment, but a nice defensive play from Afzali, forcing a throw in for Orange County. 
And here comes the throw in. And Mendoza coming out to slap the ball. Now Bayo, can he get a shot off? He's unable to. Now Tristan Chorus. Does he have a counterattack going the other way for City of Angels? And a nice move, maybe an opportunity. A foul was committed by Lobsiger. Referee said, decided to play the advantage. But now, given away, Michael Bryant decides to send it down the field towards Dakota Collins. And he's fouled from behind. And you have to wonder whether or not that should be a card. And yes, it will be. And looks like that is a yellow card for Tomas Arajo. And from the standpoint of City of Angels, probably a smart foul. Like I was saying, from the standpoint of City of Angels, a smart foul that easily could have been a scoring opportunity for Dakota Collins. Now with the free kick, but now Tomas Arajo has to be careful, just like, just like his teammate Eduardo Gonzalez. Now with the free kick, header by Bryant, going a bit wide. And it's true, Arajo and Gonzalez do need to be careful because another, another bookable offense, that will lead to their night being over. But the action continues on the sideline for City of Angels. Do they have a secret weapon that they would like to bring in off the bench? to try and find the equalizer. And this does seem to be, at times, one of those games. And now Kevin Belmonte giving that one away to Gonzalez, but the ensuing pass to Chamawa. Flag comes up. Chamawa, I can't believe it, but from here, a pretty easy call. And I was just wanting to say that this kind of does seem like one of those games. I mean, of course, we... Don't know exactly how it's going to finish. You know, OCFC can extend the lead and make the game safe. But if OCFC is unable to score, you know, then they're basically just letting City of Angels hang around to find that opportunity. Now, Lobsiger on the right side. A lot of traffic. Wasn't able to get something going with it. It's cleared. It goes straight to Kevin Belmonte. Now here's Ryan Holland. I think he was trying to send the pass towards Collins, but the ball went straight to Daniel Mendoza. Mendoza, this ball finds Anson. Now Rosario bounces off the head of Michael Bryant. Now Coras to Afzali. Rosario once again to Afzali. Still Rosario loses that one to Michael Bryant. Ball finds his way to Cody Shelton. Back to Bryant. Now Collins getting it to Bryant once again. But taken away. What can City of Angels do? A deep ball looking for Chamawa. But Pepe Miranda with the heads up play. Rolls it to Bayo. Now it's Kim. Still Kim. Knocked out of bounds by Chamawa. And it looks like we are going to see another substitution for Orange County FC. And Oscar Flores comes on to replace Francisco Bayo in the 71st minute. Oscar Flores right away seeing some action and some slide tackles as well. Tristan Coras whistle for the foul. Flores plays it to Bryant. Now to Lobsiger down the right side. Can he turn the corner? He does cross it. And Kim was in the area, but it goes right to Daniel Mendoza. Played back to Arajo. Excuse me. <coughs> Dawan Kim. Orange County FC. 
Badly wanting to find that fourth goal. The header from Shelton. Good thinking is probably trying to get it to Collins. But it went right to Daniel Mendoza. Seems to be a very common phrase tonight. I'm saying it went right to Daniel Mendoza. But at times, but of course, give the credit to him as well. Doing a good job with positioning. Michael Bryant whistle for the foul. Will be a free kick for City of Angels. And City of Angels ready to make a substitution. Their first of the night. And this one will be coming in the 73rd minute, but we do have an injured player on the ground for City of Angels. But nonetheless, here comes a substitution. So Joseph Tarzan Fernandez coming on for Makan Afzali. Now with the injured player on the ground, you have to wonder, will this lead to another substitution? And this will definitely add some stoppage time. And with Orange County FC having a one goal lead, I'm sure the thought of more stoppage time doesn't sound like the best remedy. Coming out for City of Angels, number 17, Makan Azali. And that was Eduardo Gonzalez on the ground. He appears to be fine now, but we'll have to step out for a little bit till, there, till he's instructed to come back on. Ball is back in the play. And Gonzalez let that one go underneath his foot. Taken away by Frischneck. Orange County FC trying to get something going. Michael Bryant playing it to Collins. Back to Bryant. And Bryant finding himself surrounded by those light blue shirts. But it will be a goal kick. Michael Bryant was unable to keep it in play. And we do continue to see action on both benches. Probably see some more substitutions. Ryan Holland climbing high for the header. Quentin Anson has been busy tonight. Now Dakota Collins trying to get it towards Cody Shelton. Dakota Lopsiger. Had it for a moment, but forced out of bounds for a throw in. He takes it himself, gets it to Oscar Flores. Now Aaron Lombardi. Lombardi with the cross. Cleared high into the air for a moment. It looks like it was Lombardi who was whistled for the foul. Will be a free kick for City of Angels. Justin Gomillon. To take the free kick. Instead it will be Daniel Mendoza the keeper. Ryan Holland winning that battle in the air with Quentin Anson. Collins to Kim. Eduardo Gonzalez got a touch on it. I think he tried to say that it last went off of Dewan Kim but instead it is a throw in for Orange County FC. Lombardi gets it to Oscar Flores, one of the newcomers this season for Orange County FC. He was a member of OCFC during the 2017 season, and now his pass given away to Miranda. To Anson, good move by Quentin Anson. He's got the position, still has it, plays it to the outside, and a free kick. For City of Angels in a dangerous position. Now what an opportunity this will be for City of Angels to try and to, to try and score the equalizer. Now is it going to be Tristan Coras? Could be Coras or maybe could be Eduardo Gonzalez to take the free kick. And here it comes. 
takes a deflection off the wall and cleared by Belmonte. Now the ensuing header from Fernandez. <laughs> City of Angels looking for that opportunity. Maybe a chance, a shot out from outside. Saved, the rebound for Anson. Can he get his foot on it? S crossed in front. And it's Go Million who had a chance, but it was a, it was in the air. Would have been hard for him. He did not. He would not have had the time to bring it down and, and get that shot. Would have been a tough play to make, but it was an opportunity, and we will see another substitution for Orange County FC. Now it looks like Joshua Bino will be coming on for Dakota Collins in the 78th minute. And we are also going to see a substitution for City of Angels. Looks like Casey Kurtenbach will be coming on for Albert Chamawa. So Dakota Collins' night is over. He did end his goal scoring drought. And he is replaced by Joshua Bino. And Joshua Bino scored his first goal of the season last week against AS Los Angeles. And Joshua Bino, a product of the Middlesbrough Academy. Now just off the free kick, Frischneck trying to bring it down. CD of Angels having a little bit of trouble. And Hernandez committing the foul from behind. The second half sub who just came on, he gets himself in the book. Free kick for Orange County FC for the foul committed on Michael Bryant. Yeah, it was Joseph, also known as, known more by his nickname, Tarzan Fernandez. He's not been on the field very long. Gets himself in the book. And looks like we are in for an intense finish on the night. Orange County FC leads 3-2. But like I've been saying throughout this one, it appears to be one of those games where OCFC is unable to find some more goals. And here comes a free kick and a save made by Daniel Mendoza. What a save that was. And Aaron Lombardi, what a free kick that was. And afterwards with his reaction, just wondering, you know, what does it take for him to score a goal from a free kick? It was a beautiful shot. It was definitely going in. But like I've been saying tonight as well, Daniel Mendoza just coming up with another huge save. Now the corner from Lombardi puts a little too much on it, goes all the way to the other side of the field. It will be a throw in for City of Angels. We are in the 80th minute of play. It is 3-2 Orange County FC leading City of Angels. And some dangerous play from Daniel Mendoza after taking the pass from Casares. Instead, it goes to the other side of the field. It will be a throw-in for OCFC. And not a surprise that it's going to be Cody Shelton to take one of his signature throws. And with these shorter fields, like I, like I say many times, like it's similar to like a corner kick. And a shot and a goal! Basically coming almost out of nowhere. Cody Shelton off the throw in and a couple deflections knocks it into the net. And Orange County FC leads four to two. And correction, it was not Cody Shelton. Once again, this time, Blake Frischneck, 4-2 in the 81st minute of play. And talk about just what the doctor ordered. That's exactly what Orange County FC needed. It was mentioned on more than one occasion throughout the night about OCFC having a one goal lead and just letting City of Angels hang around because you never know what can happen. It doesn't mean that the game is over, but that just might be enough for Orange County FC to get the win against City of Angels. 
There still is a good amount of time remaining. Don't get me wrong. There's no way that this is set in stone. But right now, a two-goal lead providing the providing a cushion that OCFC could be a little more comfortable with. But it definitely does not mean to be complacent, and it definitely does not mean to just sit back and play that strategy of protect the lead. Now off the free kick. Maybe an opportunity. Miranda putting it high over the bar. Will be a goal kick for Pepe Miranda. And Blake Frischnecht. Huge. Just, you know, don't even know what more to say. It was that long throw in from Cody Shelton. Took a couple deflections. But Frischneck in the right place at the right time. Taking his shot. Nothing Daniel Mendoza could have done to stop that. Now when you look at the night that Mendoza has had, you pretty much could, it's really hard to ask for more of him on that shot from Frischneck. From the view over here, it almost looked like he didn't even see where that ball was going. And Orange County FC with a 4-2 lead. Desperate to end this two-game skid. <laughs> ball is back in the play. And Blake Frischneck from Las Vegas played his college soccer for the Utah Valley Wolverines. And a free kick for Orange County FC. Joshua Bino looking back. Upset with the official. Feeling that he should have played advantage. And Joshua Bino would have had a would have had plenty of space and a good opportunity to turn that into an a scoring chance for Orange County FC. Now the header and a nice cross and a goal! It's 5-2! Orange County FC on the cross from Aaron Lombardi. And now you could say this one is safe. And what a great header that was for Orange County FC. And Blake Frischnecht. What a finish. The cross from Lombardi and the header. And Orange County FC with a 5-2 lead. That goal coming in the 84th minute. Definitely a goal that you're going to be wanting to watch over and over on replay. And of course, that's something you can do here on Mike Cujo. So Blake Frischneck with the header, the hat trick, 5-2 Orange County FC leads. For a while, you had to hear me say over and over that playing with a one-goal lead meant that City of Angels would be hanging about, hanging around with an opportunity to find that equalizer. But now with the fifth goal of the night for Orange County, we know this one's in the bag. Now it's Frischneck. With plenty of speed. Playing it now to the outside to Bino. Bino with the shot. Going just over the bar. And Daniel Mendoza. He's been busy all night. But these last few minutes have been very difficult. As it went from being a close 3-2 game. To now a safe 5-2 lead for Orange County FC. Another substitution to be made. For Orange County, this time Flavio Olioso will be coming on. And it looks like he will be replacing Blake Frischnecht. And what a night for the young man from Las Vegas. So now ball back in the play. Oscar Flores playing it back to Ryan Holland. Now Michael Bryant fouled from behind by Chorus. Easy call for the official. Aaron Lombardi 
We are in the 87th minute of play. Now from here on out is basically Orange County FC just winding down those minutes and just wanting to get into that locker room and have a few days of rest before that huge first round match of the 2019 Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup where they will be hosting FC Golden State Force of USL League 2. That'll be on Tuesday night, May the 7th at Championship Soccer Stadium at Orange County Great Park in Irvine, just down the street from here, Portola High School. And it will be a very good match, considering that even though FC Golden State Force plays in USL League 2, the head coach of Golden State Force is the same head coach and basically the same organization as the team that runs FC Golden State of the NPSL Southwest. So the two teams very familiar with one another, that's for sure. But could be a little bit of a mystery in regards to which roster, which players will be available and will be on the pitch that night for FC Golden State Force. Now Orange County FC making another substitution. This time starting keeper Pepe Miranda gets a few minutes to rest. And he is replaced by a, another newcomer for Orange County FC. And this player, of course, in goal now, number 30, David Praise, played his college soccer at Cal State Northridge and is also a product of the LA Galaxy Academy. So we're seeing some new faces for Orange County FC. And one of those new phases tonight, Blake Frischneck, what a night he had. Three goals, the hat trick in his debut. Now played deep by Bryant, looking for Shelton. And now given away, it's Dewan Kim. Can he get a shot off? He fakes it, brings it back, looking for an option. Crossed in front, but in, intercepted by Rosario. But now a shot from Lombardi hits the side of the net. So close to possibly even making it 6-2. Little some clumsy play from City of Angels deep in their own territory. Now the goal kick. The header from Oscar Flores going straight to Dawan Quinn. Now Joshua Bino with the shot. And headed away by Justin Gomillion. At the last moment, goes out of bounds for a corner kick. Joshua Bino so close to making it 6-2 for Orange County FC. We are in the 90th minute of play. Orange County FC. Definitely got to be in good spirits for putting a stop to this to the two-game winless skid. A lot of matches left to be played in the NPSL for this 2019 season. The corner kick from Lombardi. Headed out by Gomillion. Will be a throw in now for OCFC on the opposite end of the field. Now here comes a throw in from Shelton. It's in front. Maybe a chance for Dawan Kim. He shoots off the post. Headed out of bounds. And it will be now a corner kick for Orange County FC. And we are now in stoppage time. Got to assume there should be three or four minutes of stoppage time. A 5-2 lead for Orange County FC. The corner kick from Bino. Looks like Michael Bryant was able to get his head on it, but it goes out of bounds, and it will be a goal kick for City of Angels. Mendoza to Arajo. And Arajo has plenty of experience playing in the NPSL. Previously played with Oxnard Guerreros, also in the NPSL Southwest. Joshua Bino had it for a moment, and that is it. The final whistle 
And game over, Orange County FC with a 5-2 victory over City of Angels. The hat trick for Blake Frischneck in his debut appearance for Orange County FC. The other two goals scored by Francisco Veo and Dakota Collins. So for a while it was 3-2 for a good amount of time in the second half, but Orange County FC coming away with the victory, making the game safe. And that is it. From Portola High School in Irvine, California, I'm Art Iftikari, proud to have been able to bring you tonight's play-by-play -play on Mike Cujo via George Langevin Productions. Once again, the final score, Orange County FC 5, City of Angels FC 2. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching NPSL Soccer.